Michael Douglas is one of the 35,000 Americans who are diagnosed every year with some form of throat cancer. Doctors at St. Vincent Hospital who admit they are not familiar with his particular treatment would bet that he'll undergo the Da Vinci robotic system. It doesn't involve the big approach through the neck. It doesn't involve uh, nearly the trauma to the surrounding tissues. And for uh, many select tumors in this area, it allows for a complete removal with negative margins. Uh, and often without a tracheotomy and generally without a feeding tube. Da Vinci uses robotic pinchers that can cut, cauterize, and grasp with 270 degrees of rotation. The doctor sits at a nearby console and with 3D precision removes tumors in areas that he just couldn't reach before. My right hand, which you see moving here, would actually be a cauterizing instrument which would cut and coagulate the blood vessels at the same time. The instrument here on my left, which I'm moving around now, would actually grab and move the tissues. Gary Collins, a retired police officer from Muncie, had his throat tumor removed with Da Vinci. Instead of a week and a half in the hospital, he was out in three days. They took the trach out the next day. They said there was no swelling in the, in the throat, so they, they took my trach out. There is one drawback. The surgeon cannot feel the tissue, so he has to learn how much pressure the pinchers apply. These doctors have performed 20 cases using the robot, and they're confident there will be more. We're able to do things that we truly weren't able to do beforehand. And these robot pinchers that you saw in that story do the work by actually going through the mouth. In past surgeries, the chin and the throat might have to be cut open, and that led to lingering swallowing and speech problems for the patient that da Vinci avoids. And by the way, chemo and radiation can still be a very big part of the treatment plan for throat cancer patients.